new product called DYVI, and Hans will actually take us through the product. Uh, here you see the, the different panel, which mm -hmm. is um, uh, a modular panel. Uh -huh. So it means that uh, we basically give the customer a box of buttons, uh -huh. and they can do whatever they want. Beautiful. Uh -huh. So in a classical switcher, you have your program and preview. Uh -huh. We can do that as well, but uh, we can um, also say. My first uh, four buttons are uh, program and preview. Then I have, for instance, some macros, uh, some gears, uh, and stuff like this. Changing the way uh, of, of thinking is uh, in a classical switcher you have a box mm -hmm. that you put in cards yeah. which give you a number of MEs. That's right. Uh, we throw this overboard and we base it on uh, GPU. So oh, right. NVIDIA GPU. Uh, uh, Powerful NVIDIA GPUs, okay. Inside, uh, which means that you're not limited to any number of MEs. Oh, okay. So, so that you expands your possibilities, basically. Exactly. Uh -huh. uh, you can work with two MEs, but you can also work with 50 MEs. Oh, okay. Uh, in the same way, we don't do keys anymore. Don't get me wrong. All we right. have uh, chroma key, we have numa key, we have all the different Key, keys. Right, types of keys. But, uh, we uh, call them uh, layers, uh -huh. and it works in the way that Photoshop also has uh, layers. Yeah, this is layers. Uh, where in a classical switcher you are limited to either four or eight keys per ME, uh -huh. uh, you can go up to uh, 100 layers if you want. Oh, wait. Limiters. No. And also, uh, if your productions grow, uh, your switcher can grow with you. Oh, right. So let me t take you through a couple of PowerPoints. Uh, so it looks like a switcher, but offers many more features, like I said. So the flexible composition uh, in terms of buttons, uh, stages, uh, which uh, stages are what we, uh, what in a classical switcher are MEs, we mm -hmm. call them stages. Um, and um, the, the buttons and the layers and stuff, it's, it's all very flexible. Uh, we have uh, something that's really unique, that's uh, conditional macros. macros yeah. Now, let me think of a, a, a very simple example. For instance, um, we have an EVS server running uh, on time code, of course, mm -hmm. and each time that uh, a clip hits uh, 1 hour 30, for instance, I want a logo flying in, and instead of the director's assistant counting me down, uh -huh. and, uh, me push you button. I just program this in a macro. Oh, wait. So each time that an EVS server There's is a time. one hour thirty, it will automatically open the key and uh, bring on bring on the graphics. graphics. Okay, that's great. The, the system consists of, of course, a panel, and what we have here is a basic panel, but we uh, can attach more of, of the. Uh, so it's modular, meaning to say. We can expand. Uh, All right. Uh, and this box is uh, our mainframe. All right. So a standard system comes with uh, the mainframe, mainframe and, and the panel and the computer that runs the, the, the graphical user interface. Um, the, the panel, uh, sorry, not the panel. The uh, mainframe, mainframe is a two-rack unit uh, IT server frame, mm -hmm. and it's the configurations are uh, 24 in, 6 out, or 16 in. 12 out, 12 frame. Frame. Uh, so you can start small, and if your productions grow, uh, or your needs grow, you just add another frame, which connects to uh, internet connection, uh -huh. and uh, for, the, for the user, it's just uh, seen as one big frame. Yes, yes. So if you connect camera 1 to frame 1, it's also available and adjustable on frame 2. Okay. So uh, you don't... Physically, you have two boxes. Two boxes, but still you can expand on. Exactly. Um, the runs on Linux, uh -huh. which is uh, very stable, of course. Uh, and we do all the, the standard uh, Ethernet, HP, 10 EDI, uh, 3G. Uh, let me show you an input card. So this is an input card, mm -hmm. which uh, is either uh, 24 in, 6 out, or 16 in, 12 out. And um, if, uh, uh -huh. if you need more, you just add. Add more, yeah. That's the concept. So it's a very modular concept, in fact. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is also inside is uh, that's, that's also called a multi viewer. So per oh, course, okay. we can have two multi viewer with each 16 pictures. Uh -huh. uh, on the multi viewers, we can have clocks, 
that are uh, generated internally. Uh, now we are in uh, we are 4K. talking about 4K, but mm -hmm. as soon as Nvidia upgrades their cards, you can also do with the same machine you buy now. You can do 8K, 8K. and oh. maybe 16K. Who knows? <laughs> the future. All right. Uh. No problem. So this is what uh, what the user interface will look like. And here you see on the left side we have all the inputs. Uh -huh. um, and here are the source options. So let's say we want a chroma key on camera one. What you do is go inside this menu, uh, select chroma key, drag and drop it on camera one. Okay. And you can start uh, um, adjusting it. your key. And it's not, uh, there is no limit on this. So uh, in this example, they had 30 cameras connected. Oh, okay. Uh, and you can have uh, a chroma key on, on each, each of them. Each of them. Yes. Uh, also right. memo keys and... Uh, so basically what I, w what I would say is that, like, it's giving the client a lot of flexibility. So any user, it gives a lot of flexibility. I mean, it doesn't actually constrain you to a switcher alone, but then it's like a configurable inter interface that gives you an opportunity to do anything. Exactly. Brilliant, that's yeah. brilliant actually. And uh, in, in terms of uh, sales, uh, what I think is quite nice is uh -huh. that all these features you see here uh -huh. are inside. We don't do options. Oh wait, so it's it's a complete box. I it's, mean, it's complete. So it's a complete box. Correction, uh -huh. We don't ask you for more money. It's already inside. <laughs> if you want uh, the chroma keys, mm. it's inside. So we have to say there's a single touch solution for mostly everything. Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, so this, this, this is what you spoke about earlier, I mean, the layering concept, the, the okay. Layering, indeed, yeah. okay. So each layer can, can contain uh, 2D DV effects, 3D DV effects, uh -huh. uh, chroma key, uh, whatever. And, um, All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good for features, huh? Yeah. All right. uh, so we do uh, some uh, 3D effects in real time, obviously. And uh, the, also a very good point is uh, when you have a, a classical switcher, mm -hmm. uh, when you add a DVD, it adds a frame of DVD. Uh -huh. uh, we don't do that. So obviously you can you cannot go in and out the switcher at the same point in time. So okay. it's a little bit of delay. But whatever is done inside mm -hmm. is in the same amount of time. So you don't have any any delays on uh, effects, for instance. All right. Okay. So the effects are almost mostly real time. Yes. Okay. So you Fine. don't have any trouble so with your audio guys. So, oh, you're having delay. Now I have to de uh, delay. Uh, delay to that. No. Okay. Fine.